health and welfare. If you keep goats, you will of course be responsible for their health and welfare. Because they are seen as agricultural animals, you may well find that your vet is happy for you to carry out procedures such as injections that you would not do for a dog or a cat. In addition, many vets do not come across many goats, so it is as well for you to know as much about them as possible. Here is some basic information to help you. One task you will certainly need to perform is hoof trimming. Goats have hooves that grow rapidly because they originated in rocky regions. There are a number of suitable tools available for this task, but whatever tool is used, the end result should be the same. Another routine task is giving injections. There are two types, subcutaneous, which are simply made under the skin and are given for injections against clostidial diseases. Goats do not retain the immunity given by injections for very long, and for this reason injections should be repeated at six monthly intervals. Some people consider even this is too long a gap. In addition, a female, due to kid, should be given a booster injection three or four weeks before kidding to allow the immunity to be passed to the kid. Certain conditions require an injection into the muscle. This requires greater care to get the precise position. You will also need to consider the way that you treat your goats for worms. Various types are available and it is wise to vary the different sorts to prevent a build-up of immunity to one type or another. A vet should be able to advise you on this. You should be also aware of the existence of caprine arthritic encephalitis or CAE. Many goats are tested for this unpleasant wasting condition. We recommend that you should make sure that any goat you buy has a valid CAE negative test certificate.